Oh yeah. So, so are we good down there at that end? What? Uh, well, I'm doing my normal check with everybody. Are we good? Oh, yeah. oh it's on. Okay. Nice. Are you good? I don't see the red light though. Don't worry. I'd like to say that for a first lady. Are you good? <laughs> are we talking about like a non ADI Oh, yeah, I know. Okay, Rich, this is good. This is GPR after dark, right? Oh, like, um, awesome. Um, you uh, good? Yeah. I'll put a on Facebook I don't have a name. Okay. Either. And I'm good. Did they make it up my name in? I'm not pretty good. So. Okay, so we'll keep the chain on the game. Are you guys ready? We're yes. going to start this bad boy. <laughs> this is how they normally start anyway. Us bantering. Whoever actually makes it. Besides poor Clayton. Well, I'm going to be in a chain mill bikini in about five minutes. <laughs> awesome. So hopefully you guys have been to the right place. Hey, hey, hey. I, I'm actually trying to conduct something here, guys. Uh, <laughs> like what? Memories of what we got. Exactly. <laughs> when I had to conduct you. Yes, that's right. OK, so um, this is. Uh, <laughs> yes. And this will actually will walk me into it. Okay, so. And go. Yes, I'm trying to go. Will you now. start the panel oh, I'm trying to! For the love of him! Go. Hey, I got the I got the adipose. Yeah, okay, so this is the Gallifrey Pirate Radio uh, panel. Oh. We are our Yes. What? Yeah, right. Our yes, um we are a I have a I have a I have a first question, Rich, huh? for you. What? Before we go into introductions. So since we're video and we send out, is it is it still a podcast? Is it a vidcast or what is it? Well, you have been putting them on YouTube, so it is not technically a podcast. Yeah, because iTunes hates us. Well, we're working, we are, we're working yes, on it. We're working on fixing that, mainly because you didn't follow my instructions when you first started. But anyway, oh, you're, oh, you're getting it that way. Vidcast on Facebook because no, it's video. Well, okay. but it's the cast aspect, you see, you have to have some sort of an RSS feed for it to uh, uh, be able to get on. Otherwise, it's not downloadable. It's not. Ask me. Oh, God. Okay. Is that the nerd <laughs> let's, um, <laughs> let's start with introductions for this massive panel that we have here. Do you want to go like JavaScript, like JHL hey, or Hey, you down there with the glasses, introduce yourself. To the camera. To the camera and the audience. It's on. You want to go check it? Okay. Oh, it's not blinking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's blinking. Oh, it's blinking. Okay. The lost okay. episodes of Gallifrey Pirate Radio. Yes. When Davey doesn't hit the record button properly. I don't know where to look. Just, I'm just gonna look introduce first. yourself. There's Storm again in the Dark Lord of All. Um, <laughs> my name is my name is Jason Buterin. I have a little Bohemian film group. I don't look at you looking. Just look wherever you want to look. Fine, I'm just gonna look down there and then screw over. Uh, Jason Buterin, Mad Ones Films. I'm lucky enough to be on this panel with a bunch of brilliant people. And lucky enough also to be the patron uh, saint sire of Stormageddon and the Dark Lord of All, which Ooh, is right ah. over there. So, all hail the Dark Lord of All, yes. To the audience at home who can't see, there's a pregnant lady in the audience. <laughs> That's just dead sexy. <laughs> You're next. Yes, you. I'm Angela Pritchett. Hi, camera. Um, I. Hi, audience. Yeah, an audience. I was looking at them. So, um,. I sit on a bunch of the episodes of Galfrey Pirate Radio and I run their Facebook page. So if you're on there, and if you're not, go to Galfrey Pirate Radio on Facebook and, and like it. Please, I want to have 100 people that like it. We're down the way. We're, we're, we're very close. Yes. Um, you I, can pick me up, I'm also happy to be on this panel with all yes. these wonderful people and Davey. Okay, we and can speed this up. I am speeding it up, shut up. And yeah, okay, I'll let her go. I'm Allegra, I'm also the chainmail chick. I'm not wearing chainmail right now because it's effing cold outside. Hi camera, hi audience. Um, I was on like two episodes of Galaxy Pirate Radio because Davey really likes to freak me out with Doctor Who stuff, so it works. Oh, okay, Allegra, don't blink. Hi, don't turn camera. away. <laughs> Where do I look? Where do I look? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> and then there's going to be a kitten. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the don't blink kittens. Rich. <laughs> My name is Podcasting's Rich St. Fred. I've been in podcasting for about 10 years. Uh, Davey and I have done in the past uh, quite a few different projects, especially the amazing Pulp Adventure starring Mr. Adventure, whereas I, he writes them and I voice Mr. Adventure as well as a few other characters. Um, he's the Every one character. Who, yeah, just about. Uh, Davey's been my kind of a Doctor Who Yoda over the past few years, kind of hooking me up with some of the older episodes, kind of the, the most important ones to really get the vibe. And, so would you uh, say he's your ones, master? So. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> in many ways, yes, but not all of them. And since everybody's been playing with their props, 
I brought the uh, fob watch. The, the fob watch. The fob watch of doom. Although it doesn't tell time, oddly enough. It's been stuck on a particular time. So I need to set it to 7.06, but uh, beyond that. Um, and of course, uh, I, I've got uh, the bow ties are cool. Flask, that was made for me. And a fez that was made by the Lady Katina, who was walking around as uh, Lord Warbunny's minion. Yes. Is there anything in there? Yeah. <laughs> so much. Okay, first introduce yourself. What? Introduce yourself. Oh, you yeah. Sign. yeah. Hi, I'm Clayton Wick. Uh, I know exactly where to look when there is a camera in the room, and I am one of the co-hosts of Gallifrey Pirate Radio. Yeah, he's uh, been on every episode. Except the ones we were out of town. That's right, but I mean, for all the... And the uh, other one we have to film, so... Oh, yeah. Actually, the other two. The other two? Yeah. Okay. okay. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, uh, I'm sort of a stand-up comedian who isn't yet good enough to actually get money for what he does. He's money. Still building up to that, but, uh, yeah. Um, you guys, you should come and laugh when I do stuff, because it makes me happy and drives me to despair. Everybody's expecting everything you say to be hilarious now. Well, yeah, but that's okay because by definition, everything I do is hilarious. I wanted to do a rap fall. <laughs> and I am your host uh, for this insanity. I am Jamie Beauchamp, and, and I actually get to say this, this is the uh, first podcast we've done, Bidcast, whatever the hell you want to call it, with me with the Masters. Woohoo! So, I, I like, I think and for... And since this is no longer the David Beauchamp show, this is the first one we've done at a convention as well. This is the very first one we've done at a convention. Um, we've recorded other panels at conventions that I've been on. But yeah, this is our first one. So I'm going to run over the format for the people that are not familiar with what we do, which is probably pretty much everybody in this room except for maybe two in front here, that I know to probably watch what I've what we've done. Um, we're going to review, actually, uh, Time and Space, which is the the Children in Need from two years ago. Because the one this year sucked. Um, yes, I am willing to say that. I was very disappointed this year. You just did say you're not willing to. You already did. I did, exactly, because it sucked. So we're gonna watch this, and then we'll go. We'll critique it, <laughs> which should be really interesting. And then you know we'll go over some some recent Doctor Who news, some developments that have occurred, and we might talk about some of the games that have come out and things for the like pod and, and shit like that. I can talk audio drums. You can talk audio drums. I know lots about so we yes. can we kill the lights and we'll get this show on the road. Woo. But I gotta turn the light. I gotta turn the volume on the. Uh, on the thing on first. Sorry. Oh my look over there. You totally Okay, we're good. And of course most of us see because we're at the wrong angle. Oh, that's loud. I gotta fix that. Everybody sing along with the theme song. Sorry. Ah, how did you do that? I told you not to 
nature not for
time more than that. <laughs> okay. So we'll start like what we normally do. Um, what did we like about this this little mini two part? Two Emmy Pons. 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 Two Okay, so besides the two Emmy Pons, which is a very good thing, what else did you? What else happened in the episode? <laughs> well, you were distracted the entire time. Did somebody mention the two Emmy Pons thing? Oh, yeah. I would like to nominate that. What about the two Matt Smiths? That's well. There, there was only one two Emmy Pons, but close because it's got two in it. But there were with the Matt Smiths, there was only continually one at one. No, no. no there, 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 yeah, there was there was there was It only lasted for a couple of seconds, as it will happen when there's two Emmy Pons. Okay. Conversation has a new topic. What would you allow the eleventh Doctor to do with your Wilkie Lever? Two Emmy Pons. You went there. Come along. Camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why couldn't there be two Jack Merrimans? Because, because John there is a god up Jack. there and he likes me. Oh, well, maybe it'll be straight. No, no you don't exactly have two Jack Merrimans. Maybe I'll agree Yeah, Jack. very messy and sweaty and head dirty. Head but I'm, I'm going to bring something up that, that I liked about this is it goes back to Classic Who. Because there's been more than one story in Classic Who where the TARDIS ended up inside the TARDIS, inside the TARDIS. So, I mean, I thought that was a nice, of course, this being a Moffat thing, you know, Moffat yet again paying homage to Classic Who. Because he was so much better at it than David's ever was. He's very respectful of, of the canon, but also being able to incorporate it and modify it in ways oh, that yeah. are appealing to new viewers. I mean, he did it. it yeah, too many parts. Remember the old monsters were going to force down your throat and yeah. <laughs> put a new twist on it. He's not. Don't forget what I said. I didn't. <laughs> Shut up, David. Hey, you're the one holding, you know. Things? Two phallic devices in my hand at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And here we go. There we go. Woo! She wins. Well, then. <laughs> <laughs> like and if she can make Give it, she can make it. Give one to the other one. There's no batteries. I have a quick question for the audience. Who likes this panel better when it was about Doctor Who? <laughs> yeah. Has it ever been about Doctor Who? A little. Wow, that's actually, well, that's the launching. That's a complex question. Um, yeah. So, I mean, we know what we liked about this episode, the, the, the homage and the two Amy's. What is there anything we didn't like about this episode? I couldn't really hear some of the dialogue. Yeah. They, well, yeah, that's because no, not, we not had this presentation, the episode itself. Yes. <laughs> I would like to put forward the omission of the two Captain Jack things that was mentioned just a minute ago. Yeah. Glorious. Okay, you couldn't really do that for a children in need special, admittedly. Well, I mean, actually, the strange thing is, is Barrowman's usually the one that introduces the the, the Doctor Who segments. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but, but yeah, but what if you have two World War II era children who are looking for their own identity, and two John Barrowmans on the screen in trench coats at the same time would give them that? Uh, and I think she just. Uh, no John Harriman. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Rich. There, there, there was something. I don't know if it, it was uh, kind of a goof up or, or what. I know that when the doctor puts his arm through the door of the TARDIS, yeah. and it immediately pops out. Yeah. Then later on, they said that there is a time dispar uh, disparity. Disparity. Uh, it's different. And uh, <laughs> and so like you know one of them will go in and then like essentially a few minutes before they would pop out. But then how is the doctor able to stick his arm out and then wag it about? I think the delay is longer each time. Is it? I think so. Uh, let's fire it back in the time. Lights? <laughs> no. 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 Um, I mean, it's a good point, but you know, hey, it's Dr. Who. Do we really need to hold to the physics? Really? Come on. I, I have gone, I have listened to the episodes of GPR. And, you, know, <laughs> you know, I'm fine with the flying sharks, but uh, you know, that kid was a little too tall. <laughs> 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 Why? You ruined all of them! You all ruined Christmas! Christmas. <laughs> Where's my Quanta Doctor Who special? That's what I want to know. I actually celebrate Life Day, so... <laughs> that would be awesome. I'm definitely celebrating Life Day. I watched the Riff Tracks version. God, the Star Wars Holiday special is such shit. 
it. We can <laughs> friggin' B. Arthur, Art Carney, and Harvey no, Corman no. in 47. B. Arthur was a saint and a sex symbol of the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> you will not disparage her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, she, how was Madge a sex symbol? What now? Matt, how, how is B. Arthur a sex symbol? Mod, have you seen it? Mod. I'm serious. Yeah, I think he's just saying the same thing. Guys, Dr. Who. I mean, if Mod had made a cameo on Tom Baker era Dr. Who, what would she have played? Look, in the Golden Girls, I mean, she has that whole sexy grandma thing. She's got the eyes and everything. Yeah, she's got the eyes and everything. She has that whole sexy grandma thing. Yeah, she's got the eyes and everything. Right, you really want to say that. This is, no, this is GDR. No, no. Estelle Getty played a great grandmother. That's the difference. Oh, okay. Okay. She was younger than most of the other cast. But if B. Exactly. Arthur appeared on Doctor Who. So Dr. yeah, two Amy's. Look! <laughs> well, we're trying to class it up. As you said, B. Arthur was a saint. So let's let's move on uh, to... <laughs> to something uh, Doctor Who. Room with Doctor Who. Yes. Um, there's been a lot, a lot in the news lately. Um, everything from the, from the feature film to cast members leaving next season. Can to we talk about that in order? Because the feature film? Because I'm actually, I actually, I'm talking about how it was released. Okay. And then Moffat then, you know, made his own statement about it. Um, and then a whole bunch of other things that have happened. Um, anybody just want to jump into it? Or does anybody, you know, want to start anything? Are we excited or terrified about a Doctor Who feature film? Because terrified. it's not this cast and crew. Actually, okay, wait, that, wait. That, that director actually was talking out his ass. Because um, Moffat actually a couple of days later was just like, um, we really like that dude's enthusiasm and stuff, but he really had no right to say what he said. But yeah, but didn't the BBC release a statement? I mean, verifying no, what that guy said, like basically, like it's not going to have anything to do with. No, uh, no, because I mean, Moffat then came out and said they they want to do a feature, but Moffat basically came out and said, no, it's going to involve whatever whatever doctor. We have at the time and the cast at the time. We're not going to let you know some guy rewrite everything. I think I think it's still down the road. I think the feature will happen after the fifties. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's it's it was announced way too late to be able to properly tie in with that. I mean, and, and to get it filmed. I mean, it's it just won't be able to happen. Well, and they've done Doctor Who movies outside of the established uh, storyline. They had Peter Cushing as yeah. the Doctor twice against the adult. Yeah, those are, yeah. But um, Moffat then came around and said, you know, all that's continuity. Because, I mean, if you look at it, I mean, how many times has the Doctor, especially in Classic Who, rewritten history? Not true. I mean, time and time again with the Cybermen, with the dialects. I mean, he's. How many times has the first Doctor been a completely different guy? <laughs> at least 12, yes. 13 times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. Unless you go in with that really crackpot belief that uh, it's actually James Bond. I was going to say I... that Pertwee was actually the eleventh Doctor because of a third Doctor episode where you see previous incarnations he had that never actually appeared in the series. The belief goes along with the idea that Davison was the last Doctor in the proper regeneration cycle, and everything after that is an anomaly. I hadn't heard that. Oh yeah, it's completely insane. Nobody actually holds to it anymore. Except Did you just really make that up? No, <laughs> I haven't heard this. this. No, no, it's it's in there. Well, we are like the internet. There's Doctor Who trivia. I don't know. Well, it's like, it's, it's, like, like, it's, like, it's in Doctor Who slash That's the only three Doctor episode there is. No, no, it's not a three Doctor episode. It's one where uh, you just. So so you see like flashes of the Yes. I want to say it was actually the Tom Baker episode, The Brain of Morbius. Oh, right, I'm sorry, it was a Baker episode, not a Tom Baker episode. Get out. Okay, I'm still right now. No, you stay. <laughs> you stay. You sit your ass down. Well, I mean, let's say, I mean, yeah. you know, Paul McGann, uh, the the uh, eighth doctor, he wasn't even acknowledged as canon until uh, until Moffat. Because he was no, rich. no, he was no. Like, he's been canon the entire time. He was acknowledged yeah. in the next doctor. In, in yeah, the ninth one. In, yeah, no, because it was originally no. they had planned for the comic because I mean the, the adventures of of uh, that doctor continued in the comics. They, they had so they many were, audio dramas with that doctor. Yeah, yeah. but no, they were actually. So but those were the big finish, though. Yeah, you just but no, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, and yeah. the thing is, is that in the actual comic, which is considered canon, 
they were going to, um, in the very last comic strip with uh, the Gad, they were going to have him transform into Eccleson. Oh. But what stopped that from happening was, is it couldn't all happen on the same day as that Christmas special. Um, Rose. Because if they could have lined everything up, because it was on a documentary on the TV movie, they were talking about this. Because um, I, I, I gotta say, a lot of the Doctor Who DVDs, those documentaries that they do, talking about the history of Doctor Who and stuff like that, is just absolutely fascinating. I mean, you just learn so much. And you also find out what the actors were really like. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, they really wanted to have that regeneration scene there to, to tie everything they've done in the comics well, I just know back into screen, the show. On screen, it wasn't no. until, uh, until uh, Smith's first episode. No, well, in, the, in, the ten of Dep in the Ten of Christmas special, I think it was. I think it was the next uh, yeah, the next yeah. You see them also when, when oh, they're they projecting. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I totally missed that. Yeah. I, I thought yeah. that, that was the first time, so that's why I stuck with it. Yeah, because <laughs> Davies really wanted to tie all that into the right. continuity. Okay. Okay. That was always his intent. Yeah. It's, it's not quite as blatant as the Moffat thing. Okay. It is there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, um, so are we, I mean, does every, does, do most people keep, keep up with the news about what cast members are going to be leaving the show? Yeah. Um, we're losing, um, don't say it, we're I losing don't, them. Don't say it. We're losing Amy and Rory. No. Yeah, we are. And we're, lo we're losing I them. I refuse to lose a Roman. And, su one. Okay. and supposedly we're going to be losing them in like literally the first half of the season. Which I think, I, honestly, I think that's a good thing because one thing that uh, Moffat hasn't had is a single filler episode. Amy's story, for the most part, has been told. Rory's the same. Otherwise, they're just going to be tagging along. And I think that Moffat basically wants to have people as, you know, as, as there. Uh, I would like to post to everybody who they think a good companion would be out of people that we've, characters we've seen in the uh, Moffat run so far. Personally, I would love to see Bill Bailey, the uh, guy who was in the Christmas special, that was the kind of the leader of the space loggers, whatever they were called. I, I think he would be perfect because that he could do comedy really well. And with Smith's kind of uh, borderline bumbling ex eccentric doctor, I think that would be such a great comedic duo. Liz Nye. No way we're Liz Nye. Yeah, yeah. that would be cool too. She'd be awesome. Agent, she was an adventure. Agent Delaware and Richard Nixon. Yeah. 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 Mark, Mark, Mark Shepard and his yeah. dad, you can't go wrong. No, Mark Shepard in everything, I'm fine. Everything forever. Yeah. He's been a leverage battle star and everything. Yeah. But, uh, but I mean, no, honestly, I don't think it's going to be a new character. I don't think it's going to be a baby scene. No, but, but um, all of the characters from um, Sarah Jane, they've all aged up now. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, I think we're good. I got it. 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 Look, it was great stories, but man, it was some shitty acting in that. Yeah. Aside from uh, aside, aside so, from Sarah Jane and Keith, that was it. Yes. Yes. What would you like to say? Your finger. Yes. yes. Actually, you know, so that, that, the best day that would that actually be great. You know, bring back his, bring back, yeah. Only if it's later shown that Stormageddon grows up to be Davros. <laughs> no, okay. Go now. Okay. No, no, it works with the him no, running K9. No. Uh, you, you had a good yes. What's the character's name? The Salarian and the other girl that had the sword. Jenny. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One of them died, though. The Salarian no, died. Didn't. No, they're both alive. What? They yeah. didn't die. Jesus Christ, am I watching the same show? <laughs> or do I just have a shit memory? You have a shit memory. Yeah. Yeah. There were more to watch. There were that were in the. Um, yeah, right. But that's where I thought that they died. Both of them died. Yeah. Yeah. No. Those those two live because the reason why they those two survive was because they've been toying with a spinoff show with those two characters. Especially now that we don't. Especially now, since of course we we won't have any more Torchwood. Torchwood's gone now. Yeah. Especially after the last series. Yeah. No. Because I mean, after what happened. Because after what happened with Davies. No. Wait. This means he might come back to Doctor Who. Well, actually. Bring, bring you know, out a good man goes to war. It's too bad on bone boot for an hour. Um, Barryman was supposed to be in a good man goes to war. Yeah, I know. But because of filming the the, the torture series at the time, they couldn't they couldn't bring him in. But from what from Wait, what they have been saying, Barryman will be uh, in oh, this next season. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's a bit cagey about it. Oh, Miracle! Oh, oh, it's not actually dirty laundry. Um, Davies' partner uh has cancer, and he said he's dying. He's gonna put his career on hold. Until 
he either gets better or passes. Oh, he, he, he moved back then, right now. He's no, no, he's, 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 he's dying of cancer, man. Yeah, yeah, let's air their dirty laundry. No one's cancer. It's just people being genuinely oh, okay and cool down. and good. Yes. And now I just feel like a douche, okay. <laughs> oh. Um. So the Christmas episode <laughs> made me tear up a little bit. Oh, the Christmas episode was brilliant. I think yeah. it was one of the best. But it, it was the best one ever. ever. Yeah, it did. It didn't have the, uh, the, the the preview of the next book, whatever was coming up. It didn't. Yeah, it did in my mind. <laughs> I remember your episodes better than these ones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, I mean, like, I, mean, I, I, I thought the, the, the Dickens one, I mean, just the Christmas Carol version, the Doctor Who version of the Christmas Carol was brilliant. And then Moffat tops himself again, and that's what that's what kills me about Stephen Moffat. Is I've watched so many of his shows, and every single time when I think he's absolutely just perplexed me to the nth degree, and he can't get any better, he tops himself no matter what he does. You know, I mean, I mean, whatever show it is, he continually tops himself. And he's the first episode, every single time Sherlock. Like, every single time. Oh wow! Yeah. I mean, I mean, coupling Sherlock. I mean, anything he does. Have you seen the Tintin? Genius. Have you seen Tintin? Tintin. That is wonderful. Tintin. Yeah, Tintin. Oh. Tintin's Moffat. Oh, I, I know it's Moffat, yeah, Jackson, it's, it's, Spielberg, and he's, Edgar Wright. Yeah, Moffat is essentially watches, the hardest working man in game everywhere. Yeah. I would rather just watch Coupling episodes on repeat. Oh, I've yeah. never seen Coupling. Oh. That's something I need to see. If you give me that police box, I'll trade you again. No. Yeah, no. Angela gave it to me. I can't, I can't, I will I can't do anything. I for a... No, that won't work. Or Netflix. What? Yeah. Oh, I have that too. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Um, has anybody actually played the new MMO game? I tried and it totally crashed. Yes, the, the 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 free beta is is now out. It's it kind of reminds me of like designing. Why would you try a beta version? Just well, I mean, it's very from what I can tell, it's very much like Gaia Online and and so my or I think it was ZOMG was was their MMO for Gaia. That's what it looks like. So is that like Super Mario Bros. One or two? Oh, that's right. It's beyond two. I don't. It's beyond two. I mean, has anybody has anybody tried it or played it? I'm is assuming it's going to be a Is anybody going to try it? It's, it's well, how, really neat. How, how, I've got games. What are you? What do you choose from? Are you, you a Chinese? You know, you're a companion. Oh, you're a they don't have a very good history with games in Doctor Who. The Doctor Who Wii game sucks. Well, I actually like the iPad game. It doesn't seem like the franchise is really lends itself to a game game was amazing. The last one was with the Wii U. Well, yeah. yeah, like what you, is it like a Sonic screwdriver? Yeah, you, you can buy something to well, actually, you know, uh, Doctor Who is going to be a video game with a uh, remote hey, TV. Hey, so. um, oh, yeah. one thing I do know, there is going to be uh, Sega has also is now teamed up with um, the Doctor Who franchise and actually produce some video games. <laughs> yeah, and if there's any company. Sega has made some good games. Yeah. Well, I don't know, not recently. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm screwed over the hedgehog. Hey, guys! They had the Wii remote part of the. Yeah, they had the Wii remote. They were on super clear. Yeah. Because you can't get rid of it because people won't buy them because they're for that game and nobody wants the game. So. The, I, the iPad game for Doctor Who. Yeah, it, it's. I, I've loved it. I that, mean, it's actually yeah. pretty fun. Yeah. It's it's a puzzle game, and I, and I do recommend it. Um, you, well, I didn't know about the Wii game. How, I didn't buy that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I don't think Sonic the Hedgehog the screwdriver or Sonic the screwdriver the Hedgehog. Sonic screw the Hedgehog. I don't think yeah. that got enough respect when you said it earlier. I, there was a T-shirt. Everyone, please look at it. Yeah, no, there's actually a T-shirt on T Fury. Yeah, there was. Really? Yeah, it was. Yeah, they even wanted to say there was a T-shirt. There was clearly. No, there was. Yes. So, what, what were we at about time? Because I have no clock. 9.38. 9.38, okay. So let's, we're going to talk about my favorite topic about Dr. Who right now. The 50th anniversary. What do we want? What do we want to see? Because I mean... I would like to see the two agents. John Farabit. Yes, what? yes. We want Captain Jack and, Jack and Dr. Alt-Universe Doctor. Captain yeah. Jack does not sing in all the single ladies. Uh, the two Amy's in a car wash and Catholic school road jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Musical jumper. Musical, yeah. Uh, yeah, we love music. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, Dr. Who would you want to see? Dr. Wee Who? Serious? Oh my god, that would be amazing. Glee should, Glee should go away. I, I, well, I watched it on mute. I just want to see Amy. I want to see two Amy Ponds in a car wash with water pouring. <laughs> but that's beside the point. Um, the duplicity of the nature involved with the because I mean, they have started production on the 50th. I mean, Muffet has said that they they've started. 
Um, but but how, how much from the past, I mean, even the last year, like how, how much from the past season, like how much of that is going to come back? Like what are they building up to? Like what do you know that they're building up to in the 50s? Like what do you know, you <laughs> galaxy brain nerd? What do you um, know that they're building up to? What have they showed us that we haven't even had a clue okay. about? One of the big things I, I think they're going to touch on either this season or the 50th is going to be what blew up the TARDIS. Because we still don't know. And I, I'm hedging my bets that I, I know what it is or who it is. Do you, okay, do you want to say it right here for the camera? Say it now. Do say it. it. Omega. Yeah. yeah. Because the thing oh, is. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Well, no, if you look at it, um, <laughs> Omega was, first appeared in the Three Doctors, an anniversary episode. Um, he then oh, yeah. appeared again in a Peter Davison episode, um, and so, and they've hinted at from time and time again, the Doctor's lied about who he actually is. Um, in the three Doctor's episode they lied? No, I mean, no, time, I mean, especially during the Sylvester McCoy era, he, I mean, he was really, like, a lot of times lying about who he was. I mean, there, there was something more to his past, and a, lot, and a lot of the hints have always been that he was actually there when they developed time travel. He actually knew Rasmussen, he was there. Um, he's much older than, than, than he claims, um, and I, I think we're gonna we're gonna see a lot of that. Um, you know, who is the Doctor? Because of course, if you look at the last episode doctor. of this previous Boom. season, yeah, when he's Holy on, on shit, I get it now. Yeah, I think it's likely. <laughs> it was an owl. I don't think it's that the Doctor lies about his age. I think there's just something about his nature that he's afraid to tell people. Exactly, and I think it's going to tie back into that. But, the, but my question is, who do you think is going to be asking the question? Because when he's on those planes and somebody actually asks, asks who he is, who do you think that character is going to be? The Master. No, I don't think it's going to be the Master. What about Marini? We haven't seen her yet. Um, All right, so you're already asking this. Who or, do you or, think oh, 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 who's, 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 yeah. who's the oh, lady oh, type lord uh, <laughs> that's in the, uh, the Q zone? The, Romana. 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 Okay. Oh. My, my, my guess is it's one of two, two people. Sarah Jane. Well, I think it might be kind of funny. Why would you do don't, that? Don't do that. So don't do that. I'll come over this table. Because I love her. That's why. Sure. Yeah. Um, no, um, I think it's, it's either going to be Susan, because she was the first character ever written out of time by the Doctor's actions that we know of. So that goes to his granddaughter? His granddaughter. Or I think it's going to be Romana. I think it's going to be one of those two characters is going to be the one that asks. Even though I think the obvious one, it, it's, it could actually be River. Because I, I, mean, was, I think they're going to, I mean, I, they would make it River to me, not to say, I mean, so many people who didn't watch any of the old, the old, the prestigious canon of Doctor Who aren't going to know yeah, who but, either of the first two characters are, but River's all know. Yeah, but the thing is, is Mon has done a really good job since he's taken over to reintroduce people to that stuff. Well, yeah, but that, that's a lot of introduction to do in a very short period of time. Yeah. That I think it's going to be Romana. Exactly. No, I, true. I don't think it's going to be the Rani. I don't think it's going to be Romana because those are concepts that have been gone long enough that they were around before most of the show's current audience was alive. So yeah, but why bring up? Why keep bringing up family? No, no. Oh, oh, that's, that's why. Oh. That's why I tell Susan though. Susan has been hinted at repeatedly yeah. in the last two. So are they going to do this weird thing where like Susan but an Aim River song and I mean just no, what's that's not going to be that. Well, well, they could do something to tie. They're going to do something to tie yeah. it from the, the the canonical audience to the current one. They, well, see, they, they, they could and because they we didn't see uh, the uh, the impossible astronaut, the little girl. We didn't see what she regenerated yeah, into, yeah. and we know oh, that she yeah, regenerated yeah. into. Okay, and we saw that she regenerated. Two yeah. River song from yeah. African American. I'll agree. Well, actually, the only way. In in the last in the last confidential, which was actually unfortunately the last she confidential, they go through the history of River Song. I mean that last segment of that he goes through River Song. That's been so far. No, I'm, you forget you're talking to a no, Star Wars guy. Hey, I know revision. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me finish because I, I had the hardest time making the jump from the girl regenerating New York all the way to to England because it doesn't fit. You know, length of time wise with, with the with the girl's birth and how old she would be. Unless of course the silence, because we know they do have a time machine, they have TARDIS, could have taken the taken the baby if she did regenerate from the little girl into uh, to Mel's. I mean they could have, you know, time times after to to the proper place and time. But before that I was just like, we're missing a regeneration. Because there's no way this could be the same character, because the age doesn't fit. Because she regenerates from the older lady with the eye patch, she dances. No. You got into? No. Did you 
<laughs> yeah, I, I was right on that. Well, what if it's Stormageddon? Maybe that could have been a regeneration. Uh -huh. I mean, he, he had a silent ship over his house in, in, in his first episode. Oh, I, yeah, actually, uh, I, I, dad. I think we're going to look at the anniversary. We need to look at the things that have the concepts that have been introduced during the Moffat run that haven't yet been resolved. Yeah, and Such one as? of the things is Jenny. Moffat requested that she yeah. not be killed off. Oh, yeah, right. that's one. Um, he, had, he had a right and, and, drop about yeah. it. And yeah. Jenny's actress has gotten through making babies with yes, the five yes. and she's she, back to her With the tenth day. doctor. Yeah. So, which so is she's awesome. back to her normal uh, look and it's everything. So, so yeah. she could conceivably film. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, but yeah, was she a Moffat creation? Yes. Yes, we she's in a she was a fifth Doctor creation. Yeah. Well, actually, we, we want to go back to that. <laughs> We're speaking in storyline now. Okay. And then she was RTD a, a, a had control of those. <laughs> she was a fifth yeah. Doctor of a tenth. RTD doctor. had control of those episodes, but in the confidential, yeah. it's very clear that Moff had a big fit that she stayed. Yeah. That RTD could not kill her off yeah. so during this he, time. Yeah, so there's got to be something planned so, for her. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, so she's got to re. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, he doesn't so do anything without taking 30, 30 steps ahead. Yeah. Right. Well, but keep in mind, they don't have to. But, I mean, but, yeah. 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 She's going, yeah, she's she's probably going to come back in this season. Uh, the references to family indicate that Susan is going to probably be introduced in some way to the current audience. Uh, the actress is still with us. Right. Yeah, changes, and she wants to come back. She's even said that. What changes could have possibly resulted due to the crack and the new Big Bang? Those are things that need to be brought up. Uh, uh, who blew up the TARDIS is another one that needs to come up. Uh, all of these things, if they're not if they're not going to be dealt with in the upcoming season and whatever special or whatever they do for the 50th anniversary, I think that these are things that we are supposed to be thinking about. Oh, another one. The uh, the makeshift TARDIS whatever it was. Yeah, the, I still think that's the Master's TARDIS. These are things that are all being just sort of thrown together, but I don't think they're just being thrown out there. I'm these telling things you. That need to be, they need to be dealt with. Because I, I don't think they're just sort of I don't think it's off of just throwing concepts at the wall and forgetting about them because they keep coming back. Or also another one, the Ganger Doctor. Because he clearly oh, says, yeah, you doctor. can survive this. Yeah. yeah. And also, I hate to say this, River Song in the Library. Well, the River Song in the Library, but let's, let's come back. I mean, the, the TARDIS junkyard. Well, I mean, That's I mean, gone. Yeah, that, that, that was, they, they even said that got destroyed. I know, but still, I mean, the concept of a TARDIS, I mean, just the conceptualization of the TARDIS junkyard written by him. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is what I'm hoping, like, writer-wise for the 50th anniversary, I'm hoping we're going to get Paul Cornell back, I'm hoping we're going to get Gaiman back, I'm hoping we're going to get, you know, Moffat to do a bunch. Most of the time, it's not genius. Oh, I mean, it's so good. Hot it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's genius. Oh, no, the whole, the whole it is Gaiman's really love letters to Dr. Who. very Gaiman. You know, so subtle yeah. and I mean, so the well, every... like, revealed, just each little piece building up it. I was like, hysterical by the end of that. But they made, I'll correct they made a toy. Yeah. The junkyard TARDIS. Oh, yeah. They did that too. <laughs> Which, and actually, the cool thing about the junkyard TARDIS, that was actually done by Blue Peter. That was a Blue oh, Peter. Nice. Yeah, that yeah. Blue Peter contestant. Yeah. yeah. So but they made a toy, so you can actually put the doctor and person. Idris, yeah. Well, I really yeah, want so that Idris action figure. Yeah, the doctor Idris on the junkyard yeah. TARDIS. Oh, yeah. We have a, we've got, that's what we're going to do this week box. Nice. Yeah, so I can, yeah. Best line ever. But well, biting is like kissing, but with a winner. <laughs> <laughs> that led to so many like yeah. bruised cheeks for a boyfriend. Wrong. So okay. Okay. Well, I don't really like when everybody's like, "You made a tar." It's like, "Why is she a woman?" And like, I mean, just the looks that Han would give the doctor. I didn't do this. Yeah. <laughs> this is a my sixth. I will say this: the one thing I really did hope was when they had mentioned there was going to be another council room, I was really hoping we were going to see Classic Who. Yeah. You know what Gaiman said about that, though, right? Yeah. He said, uh, I would have liked to have gotten, I would have liked to have had a TARDIS from the third or fourth or fifth or sixth Doctor, but unfortunately, lacking a time machine myself, I had to just place a phone call and ask that they not destroy the tenant set yet. Yeah. <laughs> but it was nice to actually see the interior of the TARDIS some more. Because I mean that would, that to me is another throwback to especially yeah, some they, Baker days. They've actually the tenant set was not 
destroy it and move. Right. Yeah. So it's in the exhibition. Yeah, he yeah. said that they, I think, I read that he said that uh, they had lied about that why they were hanging on to that set for about 18 months. Yeah. Because they wanted to hang on to it and it was kind of getting difficult to explain why they kept it without like. Because like in the confidential, like uh, Karen Gillian was like, why is this still here? And, and Arthur was the same way. Because they had no idea why they had kept the set for as long as they had. But uh, we're getting to the end of this utter insanity. Um, you mean our panel or this season? <laughs> nope. This season's over. Oh, wait, with this yeah. season to start. Yeah, November. But I do. Uh, but do we have any final last words about who, um, in any of shape, in shape or form? And then I'll sum everything up. I still want to see Rowan Atkinson as the Doctor. The special panel. Uh, 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 I would. I would love to see him. I think he'd be great. You know, I'd actually Jason rather Carter see him as the Master. She would tell Edgy to She would tell Edgy to play. I would give my left leg to see that guy play a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd be I think so. I mean, he's brilliant. Everything he's ever been in, I will watch and, and just love. Like, and he, he's a complete chameleon, too. Like, he, he'd be perfect. And I think he's too serious. Really he's not. Have you seen him in Kiki Boots? No. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And he looks great. And he was in the online. I want to see Heather Miram play the doctor. Yes. Oh. That's going to be a whole episode of discussion on that one. And, and <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, not if it's the red swimming suit. No, like, her no. red swimming suit becomes the TARDIS. <laughs> like, it's not a blue police box, it's her red swimsuit. swimsuit. <laughs> you just want to get in that TARDIS, that's why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I understand she's bigger on the inside, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My unborn storage head is right there. <laughs> oh, I, I love, love you guys. What about someone else? What? Loves you? Yeah. How can Jesus loves you? He does. So does space Jesus. Is that anything like plastic space Jesus? No, it's a whole other story. So there's, a, there's a difference between Jesus and plastic space Jesus? No. I guess. Is there a civil war? <laughs> A but plastic scene civil war. I didn't get to say what I would like to see. Right? Yeah, you did. No, you didn't. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure he said too many pawns like 80 times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what would you like to see? <laughs> what would you like to see? Anything that Stephen Moffat regurgitates from his cerebral thing, I will watch whatever that man makes, writes, and does. Another Neil Gaiman episode? Glory! Like, it will be fine. It will be fine. Angela? Oh yeah, yeah. She yeah. wants to see Drew. Yeah, see, I actually back to back or back to front. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> wait, wait, That's wait, wait, you want wait, 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 wait. Rich just said the most amazing thing. Terry Pratchett episode of Doctor Who. Oh. Ah! Oh. 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 Did your brain just explode a little bit? <laughs> well, but, yeah. I mean, think about it. We'd have all of the greats. We've already had Gaiman. We used to have Douglas Adams writing them. Yeah. yeah. Pratchett's the last one. What if you had a Pratchett let's, let's Gaiman Pratchett episode together of Doctor Who? No, no, no. We got Space Mountain. No, that would be that would be the episode that would air December twentieth, two thousand twelve. You think that's what the minds were talking about? <laughs> yeah, they were talking about. An, yeah, Pratchett game and We don't know who this Pratchett or Gaiman fella is, but it's, it's uh, not a, yeah, it's not exactly the world ending. It's just all of human civilization taking a look and going, well, shit, it's pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> and call it a day. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's all we have here. Okay, okay guys, let's all push the shiny red button. This is where we say bye to the people at, at home because we have to sign home. out. Because I thought we've been talking to each other for the last hour. What else are the cameras for? Oh, yeah. yeah, but yes, this is Gallopy Pirate Radio signing off until Woo! next time. And the next thing I think we're going to do. We should do a sing along. <laughs> <laughs> and on, our, 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 next, our next live appearance Woo! is going to be at. Uh, no, keep it down to our underscore. Yeah. It's Missy Khan. Yeah. Yes, we'll be back with Missy Khan. Okay, our next live appearance <laughs> is at Missy Virginia in February. Uh, We're not going to be there. I'm going to be there. Yeah. How <laughs> big Jesus will be there. <laughs> and thank you for putting up with our utter insanity for the past hour. We're I don't know how we did not walk out. Oh, Look under your seats. You will all have a special. Everybody leave! <laughs> no, maybe it's not. Maybe you will have birds. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but again, that I can get a camera. I was so I hoping. Did.
He was hoping that this so episode would be the first one to get the fucking police box, all right? Yeah. We're going to have this before I leave town. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll be fighting you on camera right now here at this panel. Then, then, Davey, I'll make you another one. If Stormageddon comes, you can have this. Yeah, so well, that's I'll, my Christmas gift. How did you buy it? Yeah, what the hell? It's my Christmas gift. It's a new life. It's a baby. Why don't you just make one for the baby? Yeah. It seems like that's all. Why don't you make a baby size one? I'm going to make a baby size one. I think I still have enough fabric left. No, I just want to steal his. The derpy TARDIS. <laughs> you, He's looking kind of derpy right now. You don't want one. You don't want what? You don't want what the fuck did you do the first one? Exactly. No, it's not. Just the, the bigger on the inside thing does not count for no. Yeah. No. Dave, 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 no. No. Point. Can we just turn off the camera? Now? Yes. <laughs>